I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. Continue. Yeah, of course. And I'm and I'm continue. and I'm going to be respectful about it. So Thank you. Uh, but why are you? Because uh, I'm, I'm, I want to know what you're doing. I mean, why are you? You have a right to, to express yourself, freedom of speech, just like I have the right, but you have no right to touch me, okay? You assaulted me, all because of what, because she didn't understand her own rights, our rights as, as the people, citizens. I didn't do an, I didn't commit a crime, so you're unlawfully uh, detaining me. That's fine. All right, just put your hands behind your back, Excuse please. me, sir, can you please explain please something? Please don't resist. Please unlawfully. He's a different department. Please don't resist. This guy's arrested. Hi, good citizens. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you are a first time viewer, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for future video notifications this video is from youtube channel new york state audit the original link is in the description please subscribe and give credit where credit is due guys when you are done watching this video here please don't forget to post your comments and as always guys if you would like to support my channel please don't forget to subscribe enjoy the video let's get it into yeah. um why is that yeah, I have business here. Oh, okay. But why am, why am I not allowed to film in here? There's filming different departments here. Let me ask you a question. Do you have to go to County Building? Um, Where do you have to go? Third floor, fourth floor? Well, I'm just walking around in publicly accessible areas. Just. Uh, you just can't come in here? Yeah, uh, can I ask you a question since you approached me? Uh, what's your name and badge number, sir? Uh, is there a reason why you're here, sir? Yes, I'm conducting business. May I have well, your... Well, I need to know your business. No, no, you don't actually. It's, it's my private business. You, Can I? Going may I have your name and badge number? I'm not going to. I'm sorry. So I don't know why you're here. But this, isn't your. Isn't this it? This is a government building. You're right here. Federal. Access. Exactly. And you're denying me that I'm because. Not denying you well, you, you can come you, in here if you want. Your well, question. I just need to know where you're your question, No, you don't. Wrong. So I'm wrong I, for, I, for I, doing I, this? 100% of the people most of the time don't do that, sir. Okay. So I just wanted to know why. That's it. That's my job. So, hold on, but you should know why. Because I'm within my right, okay. my First Amendment right. Okay. See, you should know that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Officer Muir is getting educated on what I'm able to do and what I'm not able to do. So, so, so he's he's uh, informed now. Roll squared away. All right. So you educated him and let him know that I'm okay to do this, correct? Uh, there's nothing we can do to stop you. You're free to move out. As long as you're not in any restricted areas. I'm aware of that. Thank you very much. Oh, no, I'm okay. Uh, uh, may I ask who I'm speaking to? Lisa? No, I'm okay for right now. Thank you, though. I'm just recording. Yeah, I I'm sorry. Uh, uh, may I ask who I'm talking to? Yeah, uh, yeah, you can, but I can respectfully not answer you. Um, can you, can you um, excuse me, since you approached me, can you please tell me your name? Terry, thank you very much. I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing. Continue. Yeah, of course, and I'm and I'm continue. and I'm gonna be respectful about it. So Thank you. Uh, but why are you? Because uh, I'm, I'm. I want to know what you're doing. I mean, why are you? You have a right to to express yourself, freedom of speech, just like I have the right. But you have no right to touch me. Okay? You assaulted me all because of what? Because she didn't understand her own rights, our rights as as the people, citizens. I'm gonna file a complaint against you guys. You better hope that there's an ass you roll your eyes all you want. You, I have permission to be here. The First Amendment gave me that permission. And 14 million. Hey there. I'm gonna give you a brief synops synopsis of what's going on. Okay. The gentleman came in here and started filming the building. Okay. Uh, I told him. Uh, you can't film the billing. He said, yes, I can. So we went back and forth for like 15 minutes. He followed all the procedures to go through the machine, cleared. I can't stop him. Right. Legally, I can. Right. So uh, he wasn't physically or anything. So he went upstairs. He started filming the billing. So over at uh, the post office in Mont Pleasant, I dealt with him two days ago. Oh, And okay. they got upset with him there. And I had, I told him. There's nothing so we listen, can do. It's, it's First Amendment. As long as he's in a public place, filming general goings on he can he can do that i guess the gentleman up there got mad and swatted the phone all right there's a starting from the sheriff's office and then there's a sheriff up there okay 905 and this all he wanted to know is what he was doing and he wanted our names as long as he's filming in a public 
building from publicly accessible areas well within his first year. If he's just filming general goings on, well, yeah, he. He was asked by the deputies to stop. He unfortunately doesn't have to. He was in I Adam. He was in the post office. Here he is again. I don't want to be thrown in your way. Excuse me. All right, I did. You know, she needs to I be did. aware of this. But the the other caveat with that is... I know we, we talked about this the other day. It, I'm not reporting transactions or anything No, like that. but if a specific okay. individual tells you they don't want to be filmed, you need to respect that. Not if they work for the, uh, for the public. That's not true. Absolutely. If a specific individual tells you they don't want to be Actually, filmed... I have a right to report public officials or public employees while they're, they're conducting their duties. Okay, I already know. I already know my rights. I have a, I have a right to do this. You know what I mean? Like... Dispatch 5513, 933. I don't know, New York State laws about consent, I don't know what they are. We can say we're not going to be Which I told him, but, and he knows, he knows, but public employees, in the course of their regular duties, he has the right to film from publicly accessible areas. So well, you can stand there all day and just this camera. However, no. if, if you're recording someone and they say they are uncomfortable with being recorded or having their picture taken, I don't believe he then has the right to make to violate someone else's rights if they don't want to have their picture taken or being It is taken. a single what they call a single I'm party consent, which I'll try five, to one, explain seven. to him. Yep. Okay. Um as long as one person's aware of it then the other person or duties and keep right. keeping you from doing your job, right. which is my question My is, job to articulate yeah. if we have documents that our people are filing and continually doing that are not which he can't film right. transactions like he can't stand over you while you're but if he's in a publicly accessible area Anything just filming general like goings on be accessible and you can see he can, documents he can like film and zoom in on their desk to see what documents are on there it's it's a huge gray area I don't know those specific laws I just know I just I understand. I get it. You know what I mean? I get it. Those are very deep dive. I get it. So. I dealt with him at the post office two days ago. He did the same thing at the post office and they called us. And unfortunately, there was nothing I could do. And he was referring to the city of Federal Building. Then he referred to as the city of Federal Building. He was a tutor. for the report, just as a witness and somebody I talked to. If you want to talk it over with your supervisors, and then you, you all can follow up later. I, I don't know if it falls. I don't know if it falls under harassment or not. If you want to file later for harassment, or, or if it falls under something bigger, I don't. I don't know. But, but then, if, if this. But I have his info. Obviously, I'm going to report. If I can get your info and add it to the report. If, I'm certainly not interested in being here. No, you're not his witness. You're, you're no, mine as a per saying, person I interviewed for a report. Which is. So now the question is if my employees are now not being safe, the only remedy I can see would be to have him removed. That can't happen, is what you're saying. No, it can because now it becomes harassment because you all feel annoyed, <laughs> harassed, and alarmed. Let's do that then. If you want to do that, one, two, three, okay. <laughs> five, five, zero, two, for someone to hear no, that's. Uh, I mean, so we're giving him the five, five, zero, two, good. I didn't recognize him at first, but once I saw his ID and his name, we've dealt with him a hundred times, and that's all he wants is a reaction. That's, that's all he wants. Okay, I just need somebody's name here. What's your last name? Zero three. That was a low I'll be off of them also, bro. In your first name? That is my first name. Twenty six. Uh, your position here? Zero three. The the desk. Desk. Can you just check for item below all hard copies, please? And a phone number is the easiest way to get a hold of. All right. So for now, all I can do is ask him to leave and. Escort him out of here, sure. with or without the help of deputies. Sure. If he refuses or comes back, then it becomes trespassing. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yep. Yep.
All right, Daniel. Okay. So I know, and like I explained to them, generally you have the right to be here, okay? None of these employees feel comfortable being filmed, which has caused them to have to step away from their desks, okay? Did you, did you inform them? I that did, they, but, all right, let me finish, all right? Because now I'm here and I have to deal with it. I know, unfortunately. Okay, I apologize so for calling. the part, like I said, is you are not allowed to interfere with the course of their duties. Okay. Hold on, I'm not done. Okay. I will let See you how nobody here is up working and they're all back there because they don't want to be filmed? Well, that's actually now, because of that. Now, that now <laughs> they can't perform their duties, well, I'm not, I'm which not, is I'm, now a result of what you're doing. Okay? Oh, no, that's not true. This, this is a I result. can articulate that and I will. Can, so I, now, can I speak now? Nope, I'm here. Oh, okay. Wow. Now I have to do my job, okay? Okay. So, so now I'm asking you to right. leave. Why? Because oh, wow. you're interfering with their duty. I am engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. Okay, Except listen, 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 listen. When you're because you, at that point you're trespassing. You know that would be unlawful detainment, right? You I don't you, believe so, and I will articulate open, that. You sure you want to open the, yes, sir, I will do that if I need to. to. I will do that if I need to. They're interfering with me, with my business. I didn't right. interfere with that. So with that right. being said, I'm called, I'm going to respectfully not leave. I'm going to say no because I didn't do anything. I'm going to finish up gathering my content. And I'm and then I'm going to escort I'm, you out of here. For what? The reasons I told you. So, all right. Listen, let, let's these be clear. folks are in let's here to conduct a transaction. Let's be clear. Are you, the are employees, you ordering to me, me to leave I under threat of arrest? I am. Really? I thought you said I was just going to be detained. Now it's under threat of arrest. That's what detainment oh. means. Okay. Well, I am going to decline because I haven't done nothing wrong. Okay, like okay. I said, I'm an independent journalist. Yeah, okay, then at this first. point, I'm gonna ask you to put your hands behind your back. Okay, well, I didn't do it. I didn't commit a crime, so you're unlawfully detaining me. That's fine. All right, just put your hands behind your back. Excuse please. me, sir. Can you please explain? Please don't resist. He's unlawfully. He's a different department. Please don't resist. Right. This guy's arresting me. I'll give you your phone. Back. Please do not turn that off. Because you can see it right here. I'll just ask you. Can you put this in my pocket? Can you please call the supervisor? You can. Yeah, am I speaking with? Sir, Doctor, who am I speaking with? I'm actually you're the person I'm here to see. Uh, if you come to the front of the What can I do for you? I have something for you that I need to give you. Uh, nope, I'm not taking anything. Sorry. Uh, you can't receive anything. Some documents from the book. No, you can't because you're going to get served with the what? The video captures a confrontation between a man filming inside a government building and various employees and law enforcement officers. The man asserts his First Amendment right to record in publicly accessible areas, arguing with security and employees who object to be to being filmed. Though interactions include first. Initiation, initial conversation. A security officer questions the man's filming, insisting he cannot film inside. The man insists he he has the right to do so, and uh, refuses to divulge his business. Uh, number two, clarify clarification by law enforcement. An officer confirms that the man is legally allowed to film in public areas. Educa educating the initial officer and the employees on his rights. Employee discomfort. Various employees express discomfort and ask the man to stop filming, but he continues setting his legal rights. Escalation. An employee allegedly slaps phone out of the man's hand. The man demands the employee's arrest and further arguments issue about the, the legality of his actions and the employee's rights. Final confrontation.
the situation escalates to the point where law enforcement asks the man to leave Syrian interference with the official duties. The man refuses, leading to his arrest under protests, claiming his rights are being violated. This is some lessons learned from this video. Number one, understanding legal rights. The public employees and law enforcement need to be well informed about the legal rights of individuals, particularly concerning the First Amendment and the right to record in publicly accessible areas. Number two, communication and de-escalation. Effective communication and de-escalation tactics are crucial in situations where legal rights are contested. Clear, calm explanations can prevent conflicts from escalating. Number three, employee training. Public employees should be trained on how to handle situations involving public filming and understanding understand the boundaries of their authorities versus public rights. Number four, policy awareness. Both employees and law enforcement officers must be aware of specific policies and laws governing filming in public spaces to avoid in unlawful actions and Potential love suites. Lesson number five professional conduct. Maintaining professional conduct, even in confrontational situations, is essential. The man filming reminded composite, which helped. Lesson number five documentation and evidence. Re recording interactions can serve as available documentation in disputes over rights and can provide evidence in legal proceedings. This is number seven, respect for privacy versus public rights. Balancing the rights to privacy for public employees will respect in public rights. Two, transparency is a nuanced issue that requires careful consideration and clear policies. That's gonna do it for this video. Much love to our another video. Make sure you use the link in the description to show them some love and check out his most recent videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Bye.